In 2012, the recycling and waste management company, Suez, agreed a 25-year partnership with the cement manufacturer, Semex, to supply the UK's largest cement kiln in rugby with a sustainable alternative to fossil fuel. The fuel that Suez supplies is called Solid Recovered Fuel, or SRF, and is made from rubbish produced by businesses and households across the Midlands, which could have otherwise gone to landfill. Suez will supply up to 250,000 tonnes of SRF to Semex each year, and the majority of this is manufactured at the new SRF facility located opposite the cement plant in Rugby. So, how is the fuel made? Suez agrees contracts with local authorities and businesses in the area to dispose of the rubbish they produce. This is typically the stuff that people throw in their black bin bags and any recyclable material is contaminated by the other waste. When the waste arrives at the SRF facility, it is weighed at the weighbridge before being tipped in the reception hall, which is enclosed to help keep odours indoors as much as possible. After the rubbish has been tipped, it is inspected to ensure that there's nothing hazardous in it. It is then loaded into a bag splitter, which feeds the waste evenly into the plant. From here, it is transported on conveyor belts to two bits of machinery called a trommel and wind sifter, which separate the material by size and weight. Material that is too small for SRF is separated out of this stage, while material that is too big is diverted for manual sorting. All of the material that is the correct size and weight after this first stage is then sent through a series of near-infrared sorters, which can identify different types of materials and sort them in the blink of an eye. This equipment actively targets and selects the material that will produce good quality SRF and diverts unsuitable materials, such as wet cardboard, away from the process. At this stage, the material also passes through a magnet and eddy current to remove any metal in it, while any remaining material passes through a picking cabin along with the material from the start of the process that was too large. Suez operatives remove anything that can be recycled or would degrade the quality of the SRF. Throughout these various sorting processes, good quality materials that can be recycled are extracted from the waste stream so that they can be given a second life and sold as commodities. After the various sorting processes have taken place, the material that has been identified as suitable for SRF travels through high-speed shredders which shred and blend it to the final size and consistency required by Semex. Around 10% of the emerging SRF travels through an analyzer which checks it to ensure that it has the correct moisture content and chemical composition. This analyzer automatically provides feedback to the rest of the plant in real time and can adjust the composition of the SRF by targeting more or less of certain materials while the whole process is monitored from the control room. Once the solid recovered fuel meets all of the technical specifications required by Semex, ensuring that it performs in much the same way as the coal it replaces, the product is amassed loose off the end of the production line and loaded onto articulated lorries, which transport it to the cement plant. Once it arrives at the plant, the fuel is unloaded from the vehicles and stored in reception and storage facilities. The majority of the fuel is used to fire the calciner, which preheats the various materials used to make cement before they enter the kiln where the process takes place. The supply of SRF into the combustion chamber and main kiln burner is closely monitored in the cement plant control room to ensure that it is performing correctly and maintaining the correct temperature. Once milled, the final cement product is either bagged for sale or transported in tankers. Through this long-term partnership, Semex is able to achieve a significant CO2 reduction and reduce its reliance on fossil fuels, while Suez is able to give the waste material a second life, either as recycled commodities which are traded around the world, or as fuel to power energy-intensive industries. <laughs>